Hey, this is Coach Joe Hafter, and we have a really important video for you if you're serious about taking your dribble moves to the next level. And don't let the title fool you. You'll see advanced players like Chris Paul and Kyrie Irving use these same moves at the NBA level. They are simple moves, but it takes a lot of practice to perfect these moves and use them against elite level defenders. These moves are great for any skill level or age level. And Breakthrough Camps instructor Jim Huber will take you through the moves next, and he even teaches you counters to each one of these moves. Now we're going to go over three dribble moves that simply work and they're easy to do. I see too many individuals in the game of basketball as they're making too many change direction moves and going nowhere. One of the most simple things you can do to create space in the game of basketball is just change speeds. Slow up, speed up, slow up, speed up. Every time you slow up, speed up, you gain an advantage. The defender doesn't know when you're going to slow up, speed up. It's like running a race. If I am able to say go against somebody I'm running against, I'm going to gain the advantage. So we're going to work on just simply changing speeds and give you three different moves and some counters to them. The first one we're going to get into is what we call just a hesitation. We call it slow to go. So what we're going to do is have RJ in a second do a hesitation. He's going to go up and attack a person that's guarding him. And as he's going full speed at him, he's just going to slow up. As he slows up, he's going to relax on a slow up. He's going to sell his head and eyes and shoulders. He might rise up a tiny bit to sell like he's going up into a shot to get the defender rising up, staying low enough, compact, that he can step, explode by him that he doesn't come back down. We don't want to come all the way up and then back down. Stepping by the defender, explode and go, go. It's really a good move. Slow up, speed up, just change your speeds. We're going to watch RJ right now attack an imaginary defender going at him just doing a hesitation dribble. And notice how he did it when he made the move. He was low, still head and eyes showing it, get the defender rising up and then beating him. He's gonna do it again, back up. He'll show it again, attacking. And come on back, RJ. Now, we're gonna show you, like he's doing his right hand, his outside. You can also come down so you got the ball in your inside hand. He's gonna do now hesitation in his left hand. Gonna go slow up, speed up, attack, right? Go on. He could go up and dunk it. He could go sit there and use the opposite side of the rim, whatever he decides to do on that type of move. So that's a hesitation. Now, realize this. Everything you do in a dribble move, you always have counters. And you want to know if I'm going to hesitate somebody and say RJ came out and he hesitated and he started to attack and I take it away, he's going to counter me. If I'm chest to chest with RJ, that's a signal for him. He's got to change directions on a counter. If he was sitting there beating me and I'm shoulder to chest, he's gonna go straight line drive. So now he's gonna act like he's gonna make the move. He's gonna hesitate, explode attack in the basket. Defender takes him away, goes chest to chest. He's gonna change direction. It could be cross or between legs behind the back. And now you're gonna come this opposite side and you're gonna finish and get to your strong hand. All right, here we go, let's go. Goes at him, hesitate, takes away, dribble change, goes up and finishes, right? So again, attacking him, we'll show it one more time. Hesitate, staying low, selling the head and eyes and shoulders, right? Like he's rising up in the shot. To change direction, attack, okay? Now, the second move we're gonna get into is what we call jab and go, right? On an inside out move, a lot of times an inside, let me see it, RJ, I'm coming at a defender. We'll bring the ball to the inside, selling like we're coming to this side. We're gonna jab their inside foot. On this one, we're gonna make it real simple for individuals. You're gonna come at them hard and you're just gonna jab that inside foot. Jab that inside foot and sell with your head and eyes that you're going here to the middle. And then as you do that, you're gonna step with this sideline outside foot and you're gonna step, explode the basket and go beat the defender. So RJ is gonna do this and he's really gonna try to get that defender leaning to the inside. Hard, violent jab, selling the head and eyes, explode, attack, and finish. So do it again. Again, you gotta be violent. Violent with your fakes. Violent with your fakes, setting them up, attack, finishing. So again, we're gonna show him he can do the same thing, dribbling in his inside hand. So he's attacking the defender. He's coming up, he's got the ball on the inside. Now he's gonna jab hard at him, like he's going to his right coming here. He's gonna come back left. And I want you to go dunk it, RJ, or do something to the opposite side finish, right? You ready to go? Here we go, let's go. Good hand. Good. Now, he's coming back. Now, we just saw him do it with the right hand, left hand. 
Now we talked about there's always a counter. He's gonna jab, he's gonna jab hard and go. They take it away. Now you're gonna counter because the individual gets chest to chest with you, right? Tax him up, he's gonna jab and go. Change direction, attack. So he went with his inside hand, left hand. Now he's gonna dribble in his outside hand, right hand. Go at him hard, jab and go hard. And then he's gonna change direction, see the defender come chest to chest. And that's the second move. So the first move of hesitation, slow to go. The second one, a jab, jab and go. The third one is kind of a combination of a hesitation, but now we're gonna add, we call kind of individuals like to make the spin move. They come here and they spin move on somebody, especially I like the spin move coming in the lane, making contact, spinning off a of contact with somebody. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna set our defender up by coming at him hard, we're gonna go slow to go, and then we're gonna make like we're making a fake spin. And for the fake spin to work, there's a couple different ways. One is, first of all, you have to dribble and then go smash and then you turn. You can't go dribble, 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 and then go, it's too slow. When you really get good at it also, you can almost go dribble, turn, smash, and go, right? And the idea is we're staying low, selling it with head and eyes as we turn, head and eyes as we're going to really get that defender coming to this side. Now, as I make the half spin and I go and I attack, they can take it away chest to chest and I can counter. Again, if it's shoulder chest, we're gonna work on it, it's gonna be the straight line drive. So we're gonna do right here a half spin, dribble with our outside hand, attacking it, some type of finish at the rim or dunk it, whatever you want. Sell it and go, good. So he comes back, we're gonna go in our inside hand, left hand, he's gonna sell it. So we're gonna make a half spin, we'll go the opposite side, finish, off a half spin. Boom, turn, attack, and go, good. Now, we are now gonna do a counter. So we talked about the half spin. So we're gonna act like now, RJ's gonna make the half spin, the defender again takes it away from him, he explodes, boom, change direction, attack, and finish. Do whatever finish, kind of what you want. Have your imagination. Boom, tack, good, go finish. Now, we're gonna do it where he has the ball in his inside hand, his left hand doing the same thing. Going into a half fake spin. Fake spin, selling it, they take it away, do it again, let's do it away. Say they take that fake spin away, now you're gonna counter, change direction on it, okay? So it'd be like this if he came at me, He's going here, he fakes like he's coming, I'm coming here, he's gonna change direction, attack and finish. And again, those are three simple moves. Change pace, slow up, speed up. Use your head and eyes and shoulders to fake. You can use that jab, that foot also, the hard violent jab. Set your defender up to create space and then go attack the basket to finish. They take it away, if it's chest to chest, you know make a counter move. If it's shoulder to chest, straight line drive them, attack at the rim and go finish through contact. Hey, we hope you enjoyed the video. Now if you're serious about becoming a better basketball player, we wanted to let you know about our breakthrough basketball camps. There are hundreds of locations across North America and there are camps for youth players to overnight camps for high school players. You can find everything from ball handling, shooting, guard play, post play, and more. Last year, over 12,000 players attended Breakthrough Basketball Camps and over 120 camps sold out. If you'd like to learn more, go to BreakthroughCamps.com or click on the link below or in the description.